We're going to look now at a lumbar spine MRI of a patient that has a disc herniation. And again, we see the side view, spinal cord ending here, nerve roots coming out. Again, the white being cerebral spinal fluid, the water. These are the vertebra. These are the discs. The L1, 2, 2, 3, and 3, 4 discs are normal. The white on the inside, the jelly's full of water. The dark plies of the tire, normal here. At the 4, 5 level, there is a degenerative disc. You don't see the normal white of a normal disc, and you see a small tear in the back of the disc right there. At the 5-1 level, it looks somewhat like the 4-5 level as it's dark in the disc, but you can see a complete rupture of the back of the disc and a disc herniation here, which is filling up the spinal canal. This is a typical disc herniation. You can look at it now from the top-down view, and we'll come down to the 5-1 level. No, better yet, we'll start at 3-4. And here is that jelly-filled donut, the normal jelly on the inside, the donut on the outside, the sack of nerves here, all of these black dots are the nerve roots. The back of the disc is flat to concave. This is normal. We come down from that level to the 4-5 level, and here's a small tear in the back of the disc. This is called an annular tear, but the nerves behind that tear are not compressed. Therefore, this patient shouldn't have any nerve pain from this tear. We come down to the 5-1 level, and here we see a massive herniated disc. You can see on the right side, the nerve and some of the nerves on the right side are free and open. On the left side, you'll see that this herniation is compressing the roots here, and this patient has significant left leg pain. This is the view of the disc herniation at that level.